I woke up super early for you guys so I can make this video for you on Valentine's Day. So if that's not love right there, I don't know what is. Anyways, today we'll be talking about Lawbringer, who I was actually really hyped up for. His style revolves around heavy hitting attacks and strong defense that can be utilized by parrying. So if you're good at reading your opponents, you'll really like this character. Anyways, as always, I'll be breaking this video down into three parts, offense, defense, and how to fight against the character. So let's get right into it. So starting off with offense, I just want to say that Lawbringer has low stamina. And for me, that's a problem since I love to keep the pressure on my opponents. So keep that in mind while fighting. Anyways, let's talk about his heavy attacks. So his overhead heavy attack causes stun, which means your opponent can't see your guard and his screen gets fuzzy. This is a good opportunity for a mix up where you actually have a few choices. You can either continue the string with the light attack, cancel the string and go for a guard break, or start his charge mix up, but I'll talk about that in a bit. You can also string from a heavy by following up with a light. I should mention that if you land a heavy as a final attack in a chain, you can press light attack for a quick poke at the end for guaranteed damage. Also while sprinting if you hold heavy you'll impale your opponent and run them forward for a few seconds. Uh, you can use this move to push your opponent off ledges or into walls or environmental damage. Next I want to talk about his light attacks for a second. So these are really good for starting chains but not for poking since it's really slow. Use it when your opponent is knocked down or after a shove to make sure that you get some damage since the heavy is too slow sometimes. Also his light attack can be used to start a string with one of his unblockables. If you follow up with two heavies the final hit will be unblockable. So his guard breaks are pretty nice actually. He can do the regular guard break, a shove, and a trip. So his shove can be performed in three different ways. Either from a dash in any direction or after a heavy attack connects with your opponent or after block. If you attempt it from a dash, I should let you know that it is really slow and it can be avoided, but it can't be interrupted, so that's a plus. On the other hand, it's very fast if performed after a block and it gives you breathing room or lets you start pressuring your opponent. If you do it after a heavy, it also comes out pretty fast and you can repeat it if you'd like. So after a heavy, just press guard break, then attack with another heavy, and then do another guard break. This can frustrate your opponent, but it can also drain your stamina, so I would be careful. Now onto his trip, uh, that's just what I call it, it's actually called the long arm, but what it does is it impales your opponent, raises them into the air, and then slams them down on the opposite side of it, while taking some of their stamina. I actually really like this move for the way that it looks, and since you can land a light attack after it and begin a string. It is also slow to start up, so don't try to use it if your opponent knows how to dodge or you're in a really tense neutral game. Uh, you can also be poked out of it, so keep that in mind. Another thing I want to recommend is don't follow this move up with a heavy since it's way too slow and can be blocked easily while they're waking up. Now onto his defense. I should mention that a lot of his defensive ability rests in your ability to parry. His dash is pretty slow and doesn't move too far and he doesn't have quick pokes. So if you're not good at parrying, you can use his block and shove to give yourself some space. Now to parry what you have to do is match stances with your opponent and hold heavy as a red icon begins to flash. Honestly, I don't even look at this icon, I just hold heavy attack before it strikes and I'm fine. Now if you mistime it, you will get hit. So the first move I want to talk about is his parry into light. This is guaranteed damage and you can begin strings with it. If your opponent is good at defense, use this move after parry. Another thing you can do is parry into a sideways heavy. So after you parry, aim to the left or the right and then hit heavy attack and you will impale your opponent and run them forward for a few seconds just like his sprinting attack. You can also use this move to throw people off the ledges or into walls or fire or whatever you want to do. This move can be blocked so don't try to abuse it. Uh, I personally use it in a mix up. Next move you can do after parrying is an unblockable overhead, which does good damage. I should also mention that his unblockables can't be followed up with a shove like his normal heavies. Now with these options after parry, you can be an unpredictable counterattacker who can mix up while playing defense. So fighting against a lawbreaker can be a pain, 
Uh, remember, he has low stamina. So after a few moments of pressure, he'll be spent and you can begin attacking. Also, most of his attacks are slow. So if you don't panic, you can read and react to them. Uh, if you get parried, focus on blocking from the left or the right first. But if you see him glow orange, get ready to try and parry him. If you're not ready to parry yet, or you can't risk it because your health is too low, you can just roll away. Also, if you get shoved, roll away. Watch out for his impaling moves and try to keep your back from ledges, the fires, or the spikes. Since I personally made that mistake a few times and got thrown right off. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like since it really helps small channels like mine. And if you didn't like it and think I don't know anything about For Honor, leave a like anyways. Now, click on that circle to sub, check out one of those previous videos on the left. And I'm kind of curious, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I'm going to dinner with my girl at an expensive restaurant, but I only got like $4. I might have to die in that, I don't know.